in the hidden nook of a secret garden, where time scents the air and roses whisper, there reigned a bumblebee queen named Beatrice. She was no ordinary queen. Her wings shimmered with a dusting of gold, and her honey held the magic of forgotten olden tales. The Queen Beatrice's realm was on the cusp of a remarkable event, the Great Pollination Jubilee, a celebration that happened once every blue moon when flowers bloomed in the moonlight and nectar flowed like rivers of stars. But as the Jubilee drew near, a problem buzzed on the horizon. The key flower, the most enchanting bloom whose opening signified the start of the Jubilee, had vanished. Without the key flower, there would be no Jubilee, and the garden would fall into eternal silence. Enter young Wesley, a boy with an imagination so vast he often got lost in it. Wesley stumbled upon the secret garden as he chased after his runaway kite, a patchwork of colors that could dance with the wind. It was there that he met Queen Beatrice, who, in her desperation, decided to trust a human, an act unheard of in bee folklore. Queen Beatrice and Wesley struck a deal. He would help her find the key flower, and in return, she would grant him a vial of her magical honey, said to make the dreariest of days bright. With a dab of the golden dust from her wings on his shoulders, Wesley was given the temporary gift of flight, a boon for their urgent quest. They flew over the garden's vast expanse, through cobwebbed archways and over glistening ponds. They met with the Oracle Owl, whose eyes held the depth of the night sky, and he told them, in riddles, of the key flower's fate. The key flower rests where the sun whispers good night, and the moon sings hello, hooted the Oracle Owl. With Wesley's intuition and Beatrice's innate knowledge of the skies, they deciphered the riddle, leading them to the garden's edge, where day and night met in a twilight dance. There, hidden amongst the twilight roses, lay the key flower, its petals closed tight as if in slumber. Wesley and Queen Beatrice, with a touch and a word, awoke the key flower. It bloomed with a light so pure and bright that the jubilee began at once. Flowers unfurled their petals in the moonlight, their colors vibrant against the night, and the nectar flowed once again. The garden burst into a symphony of scents and colors, with bees, butterflies, and birds joining in the jubilee. Wesley, flying alongside Queen Beatrice, felt the magic of the garden seep into his bones, a feeling he would cherish forever. As dawn painted the sky in hues of amber and rose, Queen Beatrice honored her promise, presenting Wesley with the vial of magical honey. With a heart full of memories and a spirit lifted by adventure, Wesley found himself back in his own world, the secret garden sealed once more, visible only to those who believed in the extraordinary. And so, Wesley's tale of the Great Pollination Jubilee became a legend whispered in the winds, a story of a boy who flew with the bumblebee queen and witnessed a magic that many will never know. And they all lived enchantingly ever after. The end.